In this demo, we're going to create and export an image. First thing you're going to do is you're going to stop the instance that the disk is attached to before you create the snapshot. That's going to ensure the integrity of the disk contents in the snapshot. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop. There we go. Now I'm going to do most of this through the command line, so I'm going to go ahead and start Cloud Shell. We can see here instance one has been stopped. So what we're, we're going to do now is we're going to create a snapshot of the disk and we're going to name it image snapshot. I'm going to copy this command, paste it in here, and we are going to change snapshot name to the name of the disk from which you create the snapshot. In this case, it's called instance one. We're going to be prompted for a region. I'm going to type in the number associated with US Central 1A. And it looks like we have already created a snapshot with that name before. Let's look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Go ahead and refresh and it's gone. So I'm going to go ahead and run that command again. It's creating snapshot image snapshot. Here we can see the snapshot has been created. We are now going to use the image snapshot snapshot to create a new disk named image disk. And there we go. Our image disk has been created. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a temporary disk named temporary disk to hold our tar file and specify the size to be at least 50% larger than the image disk. We can see here the image disk is 10 GBs. So I am going to specify at least 50% bigger. Copy this command. And for size, I'm going to go ahead and say 15 GB. Again with the region. We can ignore this warning because we will not be doing intense I.O. operations. Now that we have a temporary disk, we're going to create a new instance and enable storage read write scope on the instance and attach the image disk and temporary disk to the instance as secondary disks. Go ahead and copy the command. And I am going to modify a couple things, namely the instance name of what we're creating. And that's not going to work, so let me go ahead and type it in, compute instances create. I'm just going to name this one instance 3 to keep it nice and easy. The scopes are storage read write, disk name equals image disk, device name equals image disk. And then the second disk is the temporary disk. Again, it's going to ask me what region to create this instance in. I'm just going to keep it consistent in US Central 1A. It'll take a couple minutes for my instance to run and to be up and running. Here we see instance three is up and running. If I wanted to go ahead and connect to that instance, SSH into instance three. And here I am logged into this instance. 
So I am now going to format and mount the temporary disk. All right, then I'm going to mount it. So you could also mount the image disk and then make additional changes before you create the tar file. For example, you might want to delete any existing files from the home directory if you don't want them to be part of your image. You could mount the disk partitions that you need to modify, then modify the files on the disk that you need to change, and then unmount the disk when you're done. So I'm going to create a directory where I can mount my disk or partition. You can then use the ls command to determine which disk or disk partition you need to mount. You can see these are all my image disks. So what that does is it prints a list of disk IDs and partitions. So now we can mount the partition if we need to make changes to the disk, then create the disk from the full disk. So I am not going, so right here. I'm going to mount dev disk by ID Google image disk part one mount image disk. So if your disk is raw formatted with no partition table, you could mount the full Google image disk. So now I'm going to modify the files in the mount image disk directory to configure the files on the disk. So if I wanted to, I could go in and modify the authorized keys or something. After you're done modifying the files, then you can unmount the disk. And there. Oh, I always do that. It's not unmount, it's you mount. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a tar file of the image. And I'm going to copy this command because it's quite long here. Please note that creating a raw disk file on the temporary disk can take a couple minutes to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and just forward to where this is completed. Here we can see that the raw disk file has been created. So now what I'm going to do is tar and zip that file. Then I'm going to make a tar file of that. So what this command is doing is it's creating an image of the instance in the following location. Mount temp myimage.tar.gz. So from here, what we're going to do is actually upload this file to a Google storage bucket. So I've already created a storage bucket. So let me verify the name where I'm going to upload it to. It's called My Unique Image Bucket. So we'll wait for this tar to be created and then we will upload it. Now we can see that our tar file has been created. So I'm going to use the following command to copy that file into my bucket. So My Unique Image Bucket. And it is going to take some time and we can actually go into the bucket using the UI and verify that it has been uploaded. And there is the tar file of my image. So you've exported your file into Google Cloud Storage. Now you can share the image with other people, use the tar file to add a new image to a Google Cloud Platform project. The possibilities are many.